Welcome everyone. Today we're going to look at some financial maths and we're going to go through some of the basic definitions and concepts of what they mean. So it's a more of a theoretical lesson. So sit back, listen, make sure you understand the definitions and everything makes sense to you. Right, so the first part is we're talking about loans and when we're lending money or borrowing money from a person or an institution. Now this is a generally what always happens or for those that can't afford it or need to take out a loan to buy a house. So let's say I want to go buy a loan and I would go to the bank or one of the other institutions that would lend me money or borrow me the money and they would give me, let's say, one million rand for a house. All right, so that is what the loan amount is. But now for that institution to operate, they won't just give me the money and say, well, pay us back a million when you get the chance. They want to see some return on what they gave me. And that is what is we call the interest. So the interest is what they add on to that for me to pay. And that's where the interest rate comes into play because the interest rate shows how much you have to pay back according to what that is. So the lower the interest rate, and this is usually represented as a percentage, the less I'll have to pay. So if they say the interest rate is 10%, okay, and we will do a percentage um, lesson in the next exercise, 10% is what I'd have to pay on that, for example, that's the interest rate, and they work it out per year, then each year I'm going to have to pay 10% on how much money I owe them. All right, so, and that would work out what it is. As it is there, 10% would be 100,000, so I would have to pay them 100,000 to start off with just to get the idea going. So the interest would be 100,000, the interest rate would be the 10%, and the loan amount is 1 million. Okay, and as I said, I haven't written down, but the interest would be 100,000. Right, so that's just a very, very basic example. There's obviously more that goes into these, but I want you just to start understanding the concept. Okay, so this part of definitions is where if we run in a business, whether you're running a little tuck shop at the school or one day you're selling a cars or have a car dealership or something like that, this is what we're going to be looking at. So if I buy something for 100 Rand, okay, let's say it's a Frisbee, I buy a Frisbee for 100 Rand, that would be my cost price. If I sell it for 120 Rand, okay, that is a 20 Rand profit okay if our baby may didn't do so well and i sold it for 80 rand that would be a 20 rand loss okay so that's the difference between profit and loss so profit is if i sell it for more than what i bought it loss is if i sell it for less however it does sometimes happen that we give discounts so if my sales price is 120 rand for the frisbee and I say, I'm going to give 10% discount. Okay, and remember, discount is usually represented as a percentage. So I say 10% discount. Now, 10% of 120 Rand is 12 Rand. So that means my sales price on that would be 120 Rand minus the 12 Rand. So I would sell it for 108 Rand, which means I still make a 8 Rand profit okay does that make sense okay so you understand you're going to start with a cost price and anything you sell a bit for more you're going to make a profit for less you're going to make a loss and then discount would be on that amount okay right i hope this made sense i'll see you in the next lesson the next lesson we're going to be playing with percentages just so you understand how percentages work so you can use this a bit better all right good luck